Hello everyone, and I have our next contestant, Saundarya Gowda with me. Hi, how are you? I am doing great, how are you? I am doing great, I am excited. That is lovely, and your jewelry is stunning, might I add. Thank you. <laughs> so with that, let's jump into our interview. So the first question I have for you is, why are women so alienated or discouraged from being independent? I think I can answer it very personally because uh, I think even this day, even today, women are not allowed to choose whatever they want, even on their body. It's like even in such a big nation like America, they have right not to choose whatever they want. They have a rule where abortion is illegal. Where I think if you don't give women the basic choice to choose what she wants for her body, I think there is no other worse thing. And even in, it starts from the household itself. Being from a very small town in Karnataka, I've seen so much and I've been grow up in a situation where I was not allowed to choose I, what I wanted. I was not allowed to choose which education I wanted to choose, which profession I wanted to choose. And I've seen a lot of women even worse than me. And I, I, I truly believe if, if we are talking about it today, even in this century, standing here in one of the biggest platform, I think this needs to be changed. And I think it starts from mothers and fathers. Parents, please trust in your kids. Please let them do whatever they want to. Unless they are doing something bad, unless they are crossing their limit, I think whichever profession they need, whatever they want to do, please give them the right. Right. So like you mentioned, you believe you know, in a person having their personal choice. My second question comes from that. How do you believe one can cultivate entrepreneurship in women from underprivileged backgrounds? Thank you so much for asking that question because I come from a I worked as a business development manager for more than two and a half years, where I was, I was just very young. I was the youngest and the only woman in my entire team. So I know I was respected by everyone around me. And it's very important to give women that right. It's so imp And also around my hometown, there are so many slums and villages. I have seen women there, they don't know anything. They literally don't know anything. They lack the basic information. They lack the basic resources. They lack support from everyone. And even in my advocacy, I want to go to each one of them. I want to visit as many as slums possible. I want to tell them, yes, you can do anything. I want to literate them. I want to educate them and provide them the basic resources and knowledge so that they sometimes they don't need investment. Mm -hmm. They confuse between investment, having money and not having money. Mm -hmm. I think if they are educated enough, if they have that knowledge, they can become whatever they want. For example, there are great cooks, mm -hmm. women. There are great, great makeup artists. Mm -hmm. So if we teach them, they can become, they can achieve everything. So it is majorly about literacy and a little bit of help. That exactly. A very long way. Exactly. Right. So now into our next question. Is online dating a good thing or a bad thing? Personally, uh, I never used any apps for to date online mm -hmm. because it was not necessary for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't also judge any women if they are going for some apps or online to date because it's their choice. If they want to look for someone, mm -hmm. if they want more options, they can definitely go and they can do whatever they want. It's their choice. All right. So with this thought process and, you know, with your opinion in this question, what is your philosophy of life and what do you value most in life? I, I come from a very humble background and uh, my parents are farmers in a in very small town called Hassan in Karnataka. So they have not just one, they have taught me a lot. But one of the main basic model that my grandmother has taught me is go do anything you want, achieve anything you want until you are doing something bad for others. Mm -hmm. Unless you are not harming anybody else, you can do anything else. Respect elders. They have taught me to respect, call people in plural form even mm -hmm. if they are one year elder to me. Mm -hmm. Even if they are younger, my father calls them with respect. Mm -hmm. And I think 
there are many morals that I carry with me today, proudly. That is amazing. I think it is our morals that make us who we are as people. Exactly. And we don't need to change according to the social media trend. Mm -hmm. We don't need to change who we are. Sometimes I eat with my bare hands. Absolutely. Even in even in national pageants, sitting mm -hmm. here at five star hotels, I don't I, I'm not ashamed of who I am. Mm -hmm. I come from South India, that's what I that's how I was raised. Right. I, I always decide what I want, what makes me happy, then what people around me are thinking, what social media is thinking. So that is the most important thing that I pass on to next generation. Absolutely. So this was a very fun conversation with you. It was very nice meeting you too. Alright, so and best of luck. Thank you so much.